Well, thanks for visiting us this morning at KCALnews.com, as well as your Weather Authority app. I'm meteorologist Josh Marses, and this is your Monday morning forecast update. Looks like today will be the hottest day of the week, and happy to say that, as we do have some widespread rain coming back uh, to most locations tomorrow. Could see some rain today, but the rain is definitely going to pick up on Tuesday, and that rain chance will stay fairly high Wednesday and likely into Thursday as well, so some much-needed heat as well as some drought relief as well. Could have some locations with highs in the 80s through the middle of the week, which will be uh, some welcome relief after the 100-degree uh, highs that we've been dealing with for most of the summer. And we'll come close to the triple digits today. A lot of areas up to about 99, so we'll probably have a scattering of locations that reach uh, 100 this afternoon. We don't have a heat advisory, but the heat index likely going to come in uh, between 100 and 104 degrees. And what we're looking at as far as the rain, again, this morning, pretty good push from the sea breeze already occurring. Uh, down here near Lake Charles. We'll have to keep an eye on that. That could definitely send some rain in south of I-20. Majority of the rain that we see this week, uh, we've got a bunch of disturbances here that are going to roll in off the plain, so that will be what sends in that daily rain chance, and you'll be able to see that a little bit better here on Futurecast. Uh, for today, you'll notice it really doesn't pick up on the sea breeze activity here, but it does pick up on the front uh, north of I-30, so it does show some scattered storms, mainly for the northern Arkletex, but I'll tell you what, I think uh, given that we have a pretty good push from the sea breeze this morning. I would say it's likely we'll see some rain down here towards Toledo Bend as well. And uh, just kind of depends on how far north these outflow boundaries make it through the day. But we could see some rain in Shreveport a little bit later on. But I don't expect that we'll see a lot of rain today. Better chance of seeing those uh, widespread storms tomorrow. You'll see the rain uh, starting out Tuesday morning and then just becoming fairly widespread as this front will continue to kind of sag south into the Arkletex here. So pretty good chance everybody will pick up some rain on Tuesday and it looks like a similarly kind of active pattern for us on Wednesday as well as Thursday. So the uh, feature cast here we're only going to basically take you through uh, Wednesday night, Thursday morning. Keep it in mind there may be some additional rain that comes in uh, Thursday afternoon but we're showing a good one to two inches of rain. Of course uh, that would definitely help out a bit with the drought conditions. Hopefully we can see uh, maybe some of the burn bansies if we get several days of rainfall this week but I think what everybody's looking for forward to just uh, some cooler temperatures at least for summer anyway and uh, overall weather pattern again big area of high pressure out to the west here uh, will open the door for these little disturbances to kind of flow in from the plains throughout the week rather than high pressure building in directly over us so it's pretty favorable weather pattern for this time of the year and will definitely benefit from some uh, cooler temperatures again worst case scenario you see some sunshine you break into the 90s but if we have the clouds around all day pretty good chance your highs will be in the 80s so it's going to feel much better Tuesday through Thursday. You'll need the umbrella uh, as we go through the week here, especially with a lot of the kids headed back to school this week. Make sure you're just packing the umbrella for them each day. And the rain will uh, peter off or peter out a bit as we head into the weekend. Still have that slight chance of rain going into next weekend with highs in the mid-90s.